to the Phoebe way today's video is about the new legal updates in the month of October today being the last Sunday of October we experienced one thing that is not really a legal update but sort of I'll tell you why it's a legal update in a bit but the winter winter time has started the summer time here has ended so last night we had 3 a.m. twice so 3 a.m. 3:59 so that we come into 4 a.m. we had another 3 a.m. so that we'll save an hour and so the thinking or the idea behind this is the daylight saving so now the daylight um, time span is longer obviously because in winter it gets darker um, earlier and um, the light comes later so we're just trying to save more uh, experience more daylight in our awake times basically why I'm saying it's sort of a legal thing is because the EU Parliament is trying to um, put an end to this summertime, winter time. So we have just one um, time going out throughout the year. But so far, um, it hasn't been successful. So if it is, or if it becomes successful, if they are able to abolish this, I will come back and tell you guys about it. So yes, since today, Sunday, 3rd of October, these are the updates. Okay. Now, let's talk about another thing that concerns us in our day-to-day -day lives, and that is in Germany, the COVID regulations. So the new infection, Infektionsschutzgesetz has come out, and that um, was, has been valid since the 1st of October, 2022. And what does this say? It says that if you are traveling on the long distance trains, being ICE, IC, um, you need the FFP2 mask. So that is this one, this mask, right? With this straight form, this mask. So that is the FFP2 mask, comes in different colors, choose a color you want, but if you're traveling long distance, like for example, Berlin to Stuttgart, you need that kind of mask, right? And if you are traveling on the regular train, short distance, the S-Bahn, U-Bahn, Metro, Tram, da da da, you need this type, the surgical one, okay? so. Also, you can see I'm on the black thing. I have to really, because I'm still in mourning, so that's why all my masks are black, but um, even before that, I was wearing black mask. But this is what you have to wear. And also on the long distance trains, children from the ages, um, from the age of six to uh, 13 have to also wear this. So from 14, this up until 14, like the day before your birthday to turn 14, you wear this. And then from then you wear this on the long distance trains, right? That is one thing. And now we do not have to start testing or anything, but it is possible that if the numbers should rise, if the federal states individually feel like they want to be more strict, they can actually um, impose stricter um, regulations on us. So um, keep your eyes and ears open to what is happening in your federal state. Um, if you're going to the hospital, you have to get tested. So one thing I know is that in Stuttgart, the hospitals have a testing um, place like a, before you actually enter. So if you have an appointment there, if you want to do something in the hospital, you have to just plan like a half an hour uh, more time so that, so that you have time to do the testing before your appointment itself. So you can't just say, oh, I have an appointment at 9, I'm going to be there at 9, be there at 8.30, 8.15. So you can get tested before you enter the hospital or the facility. If you want to go to your regular doctor, for example, Alden Arts, Tan Arts, so dentist, ophthalmologist appointments, um, orthopedic, sur um, surgeon or orthopedic doctor, if you're going to those, you have to wear your FFP2 mask. So anytime you're going to a health facility or something like that, it is the FFP2 mask that is mandatory. Another thing about the uh, Corona um, regulations is the vaccination regulations. So you are deemed as vaccinated if you had three vaccinations, as in three shots and not just two anymore, unless you have had Corona and recovered. So before you were vaccinated, you had the antibody um, uh, test and it showed that you had antibodies for Corona. So you got jabbed or jabbed, but you got your vaccination later. So now we had three and um, two instead of three because you had recovered from corona before that you are deemed as vaccinated right or you've had two vaccinations and instead of you having a third vaccination you've had corona proven by a pcr test um that is was positive um and that you've tested negative now showing that you have recovered from corona then you don't have to get a third vaccination so 
these are the regulations about the vaccinations and now you do not have to go to the vaccination center to get vaccinated you can just go to the apotheca being the pharmacy to get your vaccination done so don't forget you go with your id and your um Inf um, pass so your vaccination booklet the yellow one you go with that to write it in and that will be it so that is it about corona if there are any updates i'll be back to tell you i'll do that okay all right so now let's move on to another thing um that has um been um implemented is the reduction on the tax um for gas so it used to be 19%, between the Melbach Doya, the VAT, the VAT, used to be 19%. As from the 1st of October 2022, it is no more 19%, but rather 7%, just like on food and all that. Another thing that has to do with the tax, you know, winter is coming, we will need heating, and a lot of us use gas, heating, and all that. It's that it can still feel more expensive because we still have the gas levy and the energy control levy. And that is also, even though it's been re um, reduced from 19 to seven, it's not going to be all that cheap for now. You know, it's going to help, but it's not all that. They're trying to turn over the gas levy, but now I don't have the information, or there's not been much information on that yet, whether it's been overturned or not. But if it is, or when it becomes, I'll be the first to let you know, okay? So keep your um, subscription here. If you're not yet subscribed, please do um, activate the notification bell. Here we share all information that applies to you as an expat here in Germany, okay? Or a foreigner living in Germany, you need more information. This is the place for you to, to be. So yes, we've talked about the gas levy. Another thing about taxes is that if you have not yet submitted and filled your tax um, return for 2021, yeah 2021 tomorrow is your deadline it's the first of october 2022 we've talked about this before i believe but yes so if not yet um seen a tax advisor this is your call to do so if you don't if you've not downloaded elstar this is your cue to do so you know some most of the people would actually get something back okay so if you just have one job um you've have met if you have medical bills you're paying insurance and you you've had some work done in your home been hand vehicleized and you know different things you, you can definitely um, have a chance of getting some money back so do not sleep on the tax returns think about that yeah so taxes we've covered that but we're still going to talk about money we talked about the um, increment on the minimum wage last month when i told you guys about what was going to come in october but not only that, it's also not just affected the BAFEG and also the blocked accounts for students. If you want to know more about that, um, I'm going to leave the link for last week's video right here. So you check that out. But it also means that those who are doing the mini job, you have the Verdienstgrenze, meaning the earning limit. It used to be 450, I believe. Now it is 520. So 520 euros is your Verdienstgrenze. And some people can earn up to 1,600. That is like the transitional gap. If you're in this tra traditional gap, it means that you still pay less social security contributions. And it used to be 1,300, but as I'm saying, um, this minimum um, wage has affected the mini job um, earning limits as well. So from 1,300, that is, it's now changed to 1,600. So yeah, I believe these are the main things that have happened this. I would, yeah, that's what happens this October that concern us um, living here in Germany. Yeah, I believe in the month of October, not much has changed, not much has happened, but we are still waiting for the Chancenbleiberecht, the law to be passed so that it can be effective latest next year so people who can benefit from that law would be updated. So I'm still look, keeping my eyes um, opened and my ears um, also open and just, you know, on the ground to um, update you guys on that for um, people who have fled the war in Ukraine African students African um, residents who are living in Ukraine and have now come to Germany um, keep your eyes open as well a lot of people have been able to continue their studies here so um, I'm going to tell you that keep yourself informed I did a live video on on this as well so I'm going to leave the link here as well for you to check that out Anything else you want to um, us to discuss, do not forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Continue to like, 
share and if you're not yet subscribed subscribe and yes i think we've covered everything for this month take good care of yourselves guys stay healthy stay positive and i'll see you on the next one bye